you know, as we grew up in the Cold War, one of the great things uh, that we did was develop the CTCs, and it, it was the capstone training event, and, and that's where we put all our eggs in that basket. Uh, as we move forward in the future, as been mentioned a couple of times, what we're looking to is how can we get uh, a more robust home station training capability or other places. If you take a look at just from a resource point of view, almost 40 to 50 percent of the CTC rotation is consumed by getting people to and from the center. So what we're trying to develop across formation is instead of bringing soldiers to training, we can bring training to soldiers. Uh, and do it in a way that is affordable, sustainable, and it meets the requirements, uh, again, as I've talked about, to get challenging. It is part of a training paradigm that leads to a CTC. And, and that, I think, is, is really the goal out there. So it's, it's, it's RC component, uh, the National Guard, active duty, et cetera. How can, how can we bring training to them? How can we do it with as lower overhead as possible uh, and, and with as much ownership? I have found personally throughout my time in the Army when I have personal ownership and the, the training tasks, objectives, and goals can shape the training and then work it as we go through. You just get a much better training event and we have technology out there with the help of a lot of folks out there that are that we are getting towards that. Uh, and so I think that's really where we want to go. That across the board, we can bring training to soldiers rather than having to bring soldiers to the training.